We're here at GSR 16 in Sham al Sheikh in Egypt, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined this morning by Mr. Alan Sari Al Mashakbe, who is the Vice Chairman of the Telecommunications Regulatory Commission of Jordan. Mr. Al Mashakbe, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Good morning, and thank you for receiving me today. Well, it's a pleasure to have you in the studio. Now, I'd like to start off. There's been a lot of talk about digital financial inclusion here, uh, a great deal of attention and focus has been paid to it. I wanted to ask you, in your opinion, how can we include the unbanked and unconnected in today's smart society. Uh, indeed, thank you very much and let me just start by thanking the government of Egypt and the Antere as well and the ITU for organizing and for the generosity that we have received for the 16th GSR. Actually the digital inclusion, digital financial inclusion is an important theme that the GSR has focused on. Especially we had uh, a first day, an open dialogue about how we can address all the issues related to digital financial inclusion. An important part was how to include the unpacked and unconnected uh, say, you know, uh, percent of those which is actually based on the statics that we have uh, heard are a huge number. So different themes were discussed and a lot of issues was raised. Part of it uh, related to cultural issues. We have a barrier where uh, people are not used to deal with un, un, you know, unbanked uh, you know, uh, companies. They used to deal with banks. I mean, it is a new experience for them to deal with financial institutions. They are not well known for them. So they are facing a lot of difficulties and you need to spend a lot on education. People get to use uh, the, their financial mobile wallet for you know, paying their bills, uh, doing necessary money transfer. Sometimes people are preferring to receive cash in hand uh, and deal with it. So these are most of the issues that we were talking about and trying to see how we can, you know, deal about it. And what's the solution in your opinion? Uh, each country has to do first of all to investigate what is in their opinion could be adopted as a national strategy. Because if you look at uh, different countries, they have different experience and different business model they were adopted. Uh, I try to give our experience in Jordan in a general theme, so people can have their own you know, uh, learning experience by understanding the model they, that would suit their experience. Uh, I think the common issue that most should focus on are uh, education for the customer and try to have some national initiatives where you will attract uh, you know, more uh, customers to deal with the financial mobile money. And I think the government will play an important role in, uh, because they first should use it for their own government services. So people, they have more trust when they deal with government you know, uh, due payment. So, and this will ease other. Then when more private you know, or uh, services are come to place, people are get used to to, and they will have more trust in the business as usual dealing with financial mobile payment. So very much supply and demand then? Yes, issue of supply and demand and how you will attract uh, people to get use for this. And how important is, is collaborative regulation in order to foster an enabling environment for digital financial services? Very, very important theme that uh, uh, you need to focus on because you have this, uh, you have the financial regulator, you have the t ICT regulators. Part of them looking, uh, and you have the operators. Most of the business perspective will rely on the infrastructure of the mobile operator. And uh, legally, the financial regulator have no power to impose on the, you know, the mobile operator. So they should collaborate between the, the ICT regulators and themselves. Part of this method of collaboration, they can sign memorandum of understanding and just to play the who gonna be responsible for what and how to uh, cooperate in terms of auditing if needed, uh, checklist for, for security requirement. And uh, I think this is uh, a best successful model. So first they have to sit together to discuss the issue to see how we can approach it. Is there is a need for some legal changes for the legal framework. They can do some uh, common regulations where if each part have his own role and duty. So I think this is an important thing. And you have to be dynamic in the regulatory model that you adopt. You should not say that this is the regulation and you have to abide with. You should listen.
to the business perspective of how you will encourage and include more people in the digital financial mobile services. Great. And finally, I'd just like to ask you very briefly, we're here at GSR 16. This is an annual event that brings together regulators. It brings together people from the industry. Uh, lots of great conversations here, but I wanted to find out what, what's most important to you about attending this event. This is the 16th GSR since 2000, and it was uh, very important and will continue to be a very important event because you will have this inclusive dialogue in many important issues. And now we talk about the smart society, we talk about the digital economy. And the GSR try to touch in all aspects of the future. I mean, you bring regulators, policy makers, industry leaders, and you discuss an open and frank manner what is needed from each party. And you know, GSR, it is important because you have different side events, you have different dialogue means. So everyone can talk about his experience, they can you know, try to explain what are the problems, trying to uh, change uh, the challenges to opportunities. And I think this is an important gathering and we, most of the regulators in the world are benefiting from this. So I wish the successful, uh, you know, results for the, the event and I guess the, the guidelines that usually are the outcome of the GSR are very important and it can be a reference legal framework, regulatory legal framework for the future countries who are still uh, lagging sometimes behind other countries. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Amashavi, thank you very much for your presence in the studio today and some great and wonderful insights. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much.